G'day guys, we've introduced games and shown how to construct a payoff matrix for a game, but we haven't yet looked at how players actually end up choosing their strategies in a game, which is ultimately what we're most interested in. So we're going to start to look at that in this video by introducing these concepts of dominant strategies and Nash equilibrium, and we'll demonstrate these concepts with examples. So the first one is the idea of a dominant strategy, which is a strategy that a player has that will always give them a higher payoff no matter what the other player does. So it's one unique strategy in the set that they have that always gives them the best outcome. To demonstrate this, let us go back to the example that we had in the previous video of Coles and Woolies choosing between advertising and not advertising. Let's look at Coles and see if they have a dominant strategy. So do they have a strategy that will always be better for them? To see if this is the case, we simply need to look at both of the choices Woolies can make and see in each individual case what is the best strategy for Coles. So let's say that Woolworths does advertise. What should Coles do? If they advertise, they're going to lose $10 million. If they do not advertise, however, they're going to lose $30 million. 